Tony, I'm glad you're here. Oh, that's so. I have a major medical problem. What is it? Well, about a week ago, I cut my arm shaving. I think that qualifies as a psychological problem. <laughs> no. See, we got these new uniforms that show off our arms, right? And I was trying to shave the name Carolyn into my arm hair. Why would you do that? Because I up my head hair. You don't have enough hair on your arm to shave the name Carolyn. I know. I only got as far as K. <laughs> Anyway, I cut my arm, and now I'm stuck with the Band-Aid problem. What's the Band-Aid problem? How do I get this thing off without causing horrible gut-wrenching pain? Ah, the problem that's plagued man since the dawn of... adhesive. So what do I do? Well, there are two schools of thought on this. One, steam it off, which means you'd have to boil water which means you'd have to be around fire, so that's out of the question. <laughs> now, the other school involves pulling. Here we find a subdivision. Plan A, pull it off slowly, where each hair is yanked from its follicle, screaming one at a time. Or... <laughs> Plan B. Slap on a smile Come out and walk in the sun for a while Don't fight the feeling You know you want to have a good time And in my opinion, nation The sun is going to surely shine Sitting in the bunker, my life savings in the kitty, staring at a deuce, a suicide king, and a graveyard in between. And you know what I did? What you did? I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> you yelled, incoming, and you dove on the cash. Oh. I told you this before, huh? Yeah, a few times. Uh, honey, we gotta go. <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. Okay. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I played cards with Ronald Reagan and the chimpanzee? Yeah. Everybody said he was dumb, but he could really play cards. Reagan? No, the chimp. Uh, see you later, Grandpa. Have a nice time. Hey, I think he wants us to stay. Yeah, I know. What about the movie? Vinny, I think maybe we should stay with Buzz. Oh, he'll be fine. He'll watch TV. Well, I was just thinking about great-grandpa Richmond, I guess, and how I wish I'd spent more time with him before, you know, I lost that option. Uh, he died? No, nah, he went to jail. <laughs> he was uh, selling timeshare condos on the Hungarian coast. I didn't know Hungary had a coast. He did in the brochures. <laughs> Look, the point is... It's only when people are gone that you realize how great the time was that you had with them. You just pushed every guilt button in my body. How do you do that? My mother taught me. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. Hi. We, uh, we changed our minds about leaving. Uh, do you mind if we stay and hang out with you? You know, maybe play some cards? I don't know. I'm an old man on a fixed income. Oh, come on. We can play uh, seven card spud. I'll deal. Hello. My ambulance is double parked. This is Mrs. Peterson. Please don't feed or pet her. I'll be right back. I got my stethoscope. Uh, Mrs. Peterson, hi. I'm Anthony's sister. Right. He told me a lot about you. What's your name? Um, Bluebell. <laughs> Blossom. I go with Bluebell. 
I'd prefer if you didn't smoke in the house. Oh, God, another ozone ranger. <laughs> At least I've worn Anthony down. He even lets me light up near the oxygen tank. <laughs> I bet he insists on it. Oh, a zinger! Ooh, rest up a couple of hours, Pops. Maybe you can come up with another one. <laughs> so where should I put this out? I can think of one place. So can I, mister. Grandpa, Mrs. Peterson, please. Hey, everybody getting along okay? Oh, they love me. <laughs> Especially Uncle Fester here. <laughs> Let's go. I gotta find an ashtray. She works on the ambulance? That's right. Remind me not to have my heart attack in Los Angeles. <laughs> How was work last night? Awful. Mrs. Peterson is volunteering for every shift. I think she needs something to do. So she's lonely, too. This is perfect. What's perfect? Buzz is lonely. Mrs. Peterson is lonely. <laughs> Why don't we try and get the two of them together? Impossible. Last night she said Buzz looked like Orville Redenbacher after he'd been popped. <laughs> This could work. We just, we flatter them with compliments that they didn't make about each other. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'm willing to give it a try. Yeah, after all, Yitzhak Rabin got together with Yasser Arafat. Yeah, but Arafat's cuter than Mrs. Peterson. <laughs> Listen, I have a problem. Oh, don't worry, Joe. You can replace shoelaces with Velcro. <laughs> No, it's all over, all right? I'm not going to graduate, no going to Arizona State, no baseball career. I'll probably wind up being one of those guys who tosses peanuts behind his back to the crowd. No, I don't think so, Joe. That job requires being able to make change. You would have flunk out of my music appreciation class, okay? Why? Because I have about two days to come up with the end of semester project. I'm four months behind. <laughs> Okay, Joe. Now, never say die. What are the other kids doing? One kid wrote a string quartet. Die. And another kid made a violin from scratch. Die. Turn into a zombie. Rise up. Die again. I'd have to make it with my own two hands, you know, like that old woodcarver from Pinocchio, um, Gestapo. Geppetto. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Betty Brainiac, for not knowing every word Shakespeare ever wrote. Okay, I have an idea. I know this woman, Barbara, from Community Orchestra, who's totally into opera. Maybe she could teach you an aria to sing to the class. Isn't an aria one of those real long songs only fat guys can sing? <laughs> no, you've heard Dad sing an aria or two over the years. Is that what that was? <laughs> I thought maybe he just ate some really bad fish or something. <laughs> I just realized I should never have any of my friends meet you. I'm going to let Dad handle this. He knows all the great old operas. Ah! Great old operas? <laughs> Shows how much you know. They're called Grand Old Opries. <laughs> Remember, when Mrs. Peterson gets here, I want big time suck up lying. Can do, have done, will do again. <laughs> I forgot my electric defibrillating paddles. <laughs> Blossom and Six, would you mind keeping Mrs. Peterson company for a few minutes? Hey, no, no problem. Of course not. Right. Have a seat, Mrs. Peterson. <laughs> Mrs. Peterson, remember me, I'm six. Right, and I'm, I'm 39. <laughs> no, uh, six is her name. Oh, great. Another kid who got named by two people running naked through the woods on acid. Uh, Mrs. Peterson, we'd like to talk to you about my grandfather. He said you were, like, totally pretty and full of life and funny, and you probably shared a lot of the same interests. It would make a lot of sense if you went out and, you know, maybe go steady. <laughs> 
Uh, wait, wait just a second. I think I got too many batteries in my hearing aid. He also said he loved the way you dressed. I was in uniform. What has he got, a fetish? <laughs> well, he said that he loved the way you uh, tossed your hair. Honey, this hair hasn't been tossed since the door opened at the sizzler and it blew off into the salad bar. <laughs> He said he was afraid to ask you out. He was worried that someone as young as yourself might turn him down. Young? Hmm. Keep talking, Petunia. <laughs> um, Buzz is quite a catch, you know. I mean, he's got a lot of cash, and he likes to pick up the check. Give him my number. <laughs> this is an 800 number. What? Do you think it makes me sound too eager? Telling you, Buzz. Mrs. Peterson is really crazy about you. I'm telling you, Buzz. Mrs. Peterson is really crazy about you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she said she saw you wink, and she thought that was very cool. Well, I, I don't remember winking, but women do love my wink. <laughs> yeah, and she knows a lot about jazz. She does. Oh, yeah. She gets to see all the greats play where she lives at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. She lives at the Beverly Wilshire? Oh, yes. Apparently she does quite well. I bet if you ask her out, she'll pick up the check. Hey, you're making me sound like some sleazy gigolo. I like that. Come on, give me the number. Those guys are heavily influenced by Charlie Mingus. Sounds to me like they're heavily influenced by Johnny Walker. <laughs> it's funny, when you're young, you think you'll always be open to new music and culture. Then when you get old, why well, you can't take it. I know. Why is that? Because it's crap. <laughs> exactly. What are they putting these drinks? Well, obviously, something that grows hair. You care for another one? Well, I shouldn't. Oh, come on. Come on. You only live once. Speak for yourself. I'd like to speak for you. Ooh, ah, ooh. Hey, let's have that other drink. How about my place? You're on, Tiger. Be still, my heart. Now, if that happens, I have nitroglycerin. Seen your grandfather today, Ragweed? <laughs> no, not yet. Mm. So, uh, how'd it go last night? Oh, oh, God, I look like J. Edgar Hoover after a hard night of ballroom dancing. <laughs> oh, you look great. So, uh, are you two gonna go out again? Oh, I don't know. He didn't call, and it's too bad because... I had the best night I've had in a long time. Really? Mm. Well, uh, what happened? We really hit it off. And then this morning I was awakened by the sound of the phone not ringing. <laughs> well, I wouldn't worry about it. I am sure he'll call. Uh, look at this. I'm getting advice from a polywog. <laughs> first collagen shot is older than you. <laughs> Live and learn. Look, I know my grandfather, and he wouldn't hurt anyone. He will call. Oh, thanks, Dogwood. 
You know, at my age, you take comfort where you can find it. In fact, in my free time, I walk around the cemetery and I say, well, what the hell? I'm doing better than everyone here. <laughs> This is going to be a lot easier than you think. There's only one problem, Dad. Opera is dumb and boring. Let me tell you the story about Aida. Oh, swell. Now, Aida is an Ethiopian slave girl who's having an affair with an Egyptian officer named Radames. What kind of name is Aida? Well, it was common back then, kind of like Nancy. So why didn't they just call her Nancy? Because her name's Aida. Now... You'd be the Egyptian officer, Radames, and you'd sing this lovely aria, Celeste Aida. Wrong, Dad. I'd be Joey cut in class because I wouldn't want anybody calling me Radames. <laughs> okay, here's another one. This is about an actor who murders his wife and her lover. It's called Pagliacci. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> Pagliacci wouldn't be your name. Your name would be... Beppe. <laughs> Forget it. Moving on. How about Cinderella? All right, now we're getting somewhere. Can I sing the uh, mouse song? You know, that Cinderella thing? There are no mice. This isn't the Disney cartoon. It's called La Cenerentola. Don't any of these guys speak any English? Rossini must be spinning in his grave. Who's he? He's the guy who wrote it. Oh, well, sure, he's spinning, Daddy. He wasn't smart enough to put the mice in. I guess not. Okay, look, I'm just going to sing you something from Tosca. That's in your vocal range. This is a tragic love song sung by this guy, Mario Cavaradossi, called E Lucevan Le Stelle. Okay, now, I'll talk you through it. E Lucevan... Yeah, but couldn't I just get away with singing that menu from Pizza Hut? At the pasta, pepperoni, and the pico for a pizza. Joey... You better get serious. Remember now, no singing, no passing, no bass ball. I just can't do it, Dad, all right? Thanks, but forget it. I gotta go upstairs. I got 36 hours to make an accordion out of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Look, I don't know what's going on with Buzz, but Mrs. Peterson is hurt. Awesome. The only thing that hurts Mrs. Peterson is when she nods off and her cigarette falls in her cleavage. This isn't funny, Anthony. Look, you guys got him to ask her out. Now, get him to call her. Hey, this whole thing was your idea. I'm just saying that somebody better show some, some sensitivity and compassion around here before they get hurt, okay? So how about to get in there and talk to him? Okay, okay. You got him on a pretty short leash. I'm talking to you, too. Hey, Buzz. Hey, Buzz. Hey, Buzz. Hi. You know, when it comes to exciting TV, you just can't beat fly fishing. Sit down. Watch a trout die. So, uh, Buzz, how'd it go last night with Mrs. Peterson? Oh, fine. So then you'll probably be calling her to go out again? Oh, I'll be ridiculous. What? I sent flowers. You always send flowers first. Then it's her move. Oh, well, that's cool. No, it isn't. She didn't call back. Well, why don't you just call her? Oh, uh, you can't mess with the rules. If she calls, then we'll go out. If not, I'm cutting my losses right now. But shh, 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 shh. They're going to gut that trout. Look at that. Makes you feel hungry, doesn't it, huh? Hi, Joe. Huh. You're here. What's your problem? My problem is I'm going to flunk out of school. This opera thing has, like, ruined me. Well, you remember I told you about Barbara? Yeah. Well, she's coming over here, and I really think she can help you. Oh, great. Just what I need is to sit around with a fat chick in a horn hat. Great. I invite her over here just to help you, and this is the thanks I get? Look, if Dad couldn't help me, I don't think some wonky friend of yours could. 
Hi, Barbara. Hi. <laughs> That's Barbara. You're Barbara, the opera fan. Yeah. You're a lot skinnier than I thought you would be. <laughs> so you're the one who's working on an aria? Actually, Barbara, Joey has decided that he does not want your help. <laughs> you can go now, Blossom. <laughs> I apologize in advance for anything that Joey might say to you. And Joey, I want you to surprise me. Boo. <laughs> okay, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye. So, you know, Barbara, I was just saying that uh, opera is the kind of music that really touches your soul. Oh, it's so romantic. Lovers dying for love. Think about Aida. Aida? Aida! And, um, Ramesh. And you really know your opera. Yeah, well, <laughs> how about the uh, Pagliacci, huh? Murder for love? <laughs> I bet somebody would do that for you. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> hey, don't you think that Beppe is a great role for a juvenile tenor? The name alone is great. <laughs> and, uh, what do you think about Rossini? Oh, I love his work, but, you know, I hear he was a really bitter man. Sure, he forgot the mice. <laughs> I'd love to hear it. What, here? Nah, I Come could. on. Not nah, really, I mean, it's... Oh, that's too bad. You know, I think a man singing opera is the sexiest thing in the world. Ah, oh, well, that was just the first paragraph. <laughs> you know, uh, after I pass my class, uh, do you want to go out with me? Yeah, just say when. Hey, you know, they're doing Siegfried downtown. It's a date. I would love to see him, <laughs> even without Roy, huh? <laughs> You kids got any more money? No. Yeah, that's it for me then. I think I'll go home and hit the hay. No, don't go, Grandpa. It's uh, still early. Oh, yeah. Please stay. I'm ready for more. Tomorrow. Oh, come on, Grandpa. Give me a chance to win back my lunch money. Uh, yeah, fine. Kids eat too much anyway. <laughs> well, anyway, Mrs. Peterson. Oh, Buzz. I didn't know you'd be here. Hello, Carmen. You're a dead man, Russo. You here to see me? No. Tony said he'd forgotten his reflex hammer. <laughs> right, right. Let's see. Where did I put that dead gum thing? <laughs> I've been waiting for you to call about the flowers I sent. What flowers? I didn't get any flowers. Oh, come on, please. I sent flowers from the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. I gotta go. Now, wait a minute. I sent them every day. Well, why would you send them to the Beverly Wilshire Hotel? I live at the Going South Retirement Home. Now, wait a minute. Did you say you love my wink? Wink? I thought that was a tick. <laughs> Did you say you liked the way I tossed my hair? I thought you were trying to shake the wax out of your ears. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, I know you're good kids, and your heart is in the right place, but you are bad kids. Bad, bad, bad! <laughs> Ooh, that felt good. <laughs> I like yelling at kids. <laughs> Look, this was all my idea, and I'm sorry. Well, I think I can forgive you. What do you think, Carmen? Well, did you get all our money? You're forgiven. Come on. I'll drive you home. Great. We'll swing by the Beverly Wilshire and pick up my flowers. That is so sweet. Since when does Buzz have a car? <laughs>